Hi, what I'm going to show you is the attic lift system that I built for an interior household location. Every other attic hoist lift system video I've seen out there is for a garage location. But first I wanted a freight elevator for my home dwelling. This past year we moved into a ranch house that has a huge attic storage space that is 62 feet long. And we wanted a way to get our stuff up and down to the attic without having to haul it through a narrow, rickety, folding, pull-down ladder that went through our bedroom walk-in closet. It's hard enough for an adult to walk up and down those things, let alone carrying bulky boxes. And not to mention the dirt and dust that gets traipsed through your living area. However, to build such a hoist system for an interior application requires a slightly different design, one such that the finished product is functional, insulated from any attic air infiltration, and of course, aesthetically pleasing. So, as concisely as possible, I am going to show you what I built and how it works. I am not going to show you every single step on how I built it. I assume you know how to cut a piece of plywood and how to screw two pieces of wood together. The purpose of this design is to provide you enough details to enable you to design and construct one for your own home. So let's go. Okay, here's a video from the perspective of the home loader or the living area space where the items have been entered into the uh, bucket or basket the words given and it's being hoisted up through the cavity through the ceiling into the attic and the way the design is of those sliding sides that they auto corrects into the um, tightly constructed hole and then the last punch snap uh, allows the bucket to be snugly secure against the ceiling such that the insulation seals and keeps cold air, hot air from reaching your dwelling. And this is a video from the attic view. You can see the hoist, the spring at the end, the pulleys, the basket filled with items, and the person in the attic has pushed the remote control, lowering the item into the living area. And it's that simple. So this is what the hoist looks like when it's fully um, ascended. As you can see, just looks like a piece of white plywood. Uh, you can finish this as you as you desire. Um, as you can see, my ceiling had some oh, what do you call it? Texture paint. I thought about adding that to it or a piece of molding around the edge just to kind of set it off. Or actually in our home and where it's at in the hallway, it's perfectly fine the way it is. You almost don't even notice it. So you can finish that to your liking. Here's a shot with the, the bucket lowered and you can see the cavity into the attic. Um, all I did was cut out a piece of the drywall in between two joists after I carefully measured and figured out where I wanted the cavity to go um, eh, you know it works I wouldn't recommend putting it you know I would have preferred not to have it so close to a corner and so close to two doors but <clears throat> shall we say the discussion went that this is <laughs> the place where it ended up I'll uh, leave it to that. Here's a view of the attic and of the hoist when it is uh, fully retracted. And you can see my big, long bowling alley of an attic space. I did add those foam pads you, uh, to each side of it. It was very helpful because the attic loader has to uh, kneel down, put things into the, uh, the bucket. Here you also see the removable lid. The two holes you see in the lid there are for your fingers to get in to, to pull the thing up. 
how the pulleys are mounted onto the top rail. Uh, the pulleys are bolted in uh, through the or the piece of hardwood on the top rail. I originally had screws, but those were I deemed them not to be strong enough. So make sure you put uh, bolts through that piece of wood. Here's a shot of the basket basket with the lid removed, and this turned out to be a pretty cool feature. First, I had to make the bucket sides. Uh, or the basket sides that tall, which coordinated with the uh, height of the floor joist, uh, the flooring, uh, or what do you call it, underlayment upstairs, and of course the drywall downstairs. So that entire length, after I measured it out, became the dimension I wanted for uh, for my my basket. And such that when the top lid, it was almost level or just slightly above the floor level at the attic level. But having that removable lid turned out to be a huge uh, benefit because normally when we lay it off, you can get more volume in. And additionally, it keeps the center of gravity low in the bucket. I put a weight in there because uh, it needed a little bit of more weight just to the weight greatly assisted when the basket was empty. Just allowed it to uh, descend a little bit more smoothly. Uh, this is the upper rail or a, a beam of where I attached the hoist to the upper end. You can see the spring is between the hook and an eye bolt that I put through the uh, steel uh, square beam. Here's a good shot of the hoist mechanism, the hoist uh, motor, the wire going down, uh, the wire coming back up through the hook, the spring, and the beam that hold, holds it together, which is laid across two two by six beams uh, across the ceiling trusses. And you can see on the left side, there's a bolt that holds uh, that beam or the steel beam through the wood beam. This is a close-up of the winch motor attached to the beam, which was a separate purchase from the winch. Um, and the mounting brackets that came with the winch motor. There was a little bit of a play, so I just simply place two wood shims on the side there and that uh, eliminated the vibration. Here's a shot from the attic looking down with the basket lowered. Nothing fancy again. The cavity was cut out. Insulation moved back and in my case I had to actually move some wiring out of the way so that I could get as big a basket as I could within the space available to me. Here's the insulation material I purchased from Lowe's. I bought two of these and placed a double parallel uh, lip around the edge. The interesting cool part about this uh, product is that it has a self-adhesive strip to it on one side, which uh, proved to be very easy to install. Here's a shot of the bucket and the insulation. Got a couple of arrows pointing to that. That provides a nice, tight, airtight, snug uh, seal against the ceiling. Here's some details of the construction of the bucket. I used hardwood cleats. I took uh, eh, scrap hardwood oak, locust, whatever I had, and made some eh, about five by, five eighths by five eighths strips of wood. I screwed. The corners of the plywood into the cleats and that provided it as well some glue before you screwed it that provided a much stronger uh, uh, bond on the corners than if you tried to screw half inch plywood into each other and this is an interesting uh, feature on the vertical rail 
I realized if I didn't have a little wedge here, I'll, I'll show it right there. Uh, I created that because if I didn't, that lip of the outside uh, end of the bucket might catch on the uh, ceiling. And in the same way that the, the sides are sloped, uh, that wedge provides a method of, of allowing the bucket to slide up into the cavity.